Hi, I'm Tim from Roger George, and I'm here with Ben. So we wanted to put together a little action scene to show off some of the bullet hit effects that we have. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the scene first, and then we'll talk about how we made it. So Ben came up with the idea, so Ben, why don't you go ahead and tell us about the idea. So basically I wanted to come up with something really simple so we had enough room to just kind of feature the effects and not have a huge convoluted story. Basically, as simple as it is, it's about a guy who tracks this adversary of his. It's kind of a revenge story to this certain location. And once he gets there, he looks around for a little bit and essentially has to take this guy out and they have a little shootout together. So whenever you come up with a film idea like Ben did here, the first thing to do is to kind of come up with a concept, and then the next thing is figure out how you're going to shoot it. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the techniques that we used to shoot this. And Ben's going to tell us a little bit about some of the um, items that we used. So in this scene, we used several different types of bullet hit effects. We used the Sweeney dust capsules, uh, which are the industry standard for dust hits. We also used a newer dust product called a Techno Ball. Uh, unfortunately, right now it only comes in one color, but it's dimpled like a little golf ball, so it makes it fly straighter and it makes it more accurate. We also use a zirconium hit for the sparking effect for like when the barrels of the car got hit. And finally, for the blood effect on my arm, we use something called an air squib unit. So let's take a closer look at more specifically how these effects are used. The Sweeney dust hits are pretty much the easiest way you can create bullet hit effects. Basically, you just need a 68 caliber paintball gun and one of the dust capsules. Uh, empty capsules are also available so you can customize them and put whatever you want inside them. So safety is extremely important when using dust hits. Dust hits are not paintballs. Uh, they're actually made out of a hard acrylic plastic. And when you shoot them at something, uh, they break into tiny little pieces that can be sharp. So that's something to keep in mind. And also they're hard enough that they could injure somebody. So you definitely do not want to shoot them at people or animals. So when staging your shots and when you're using dust hits or actually any sort of practical effect, you want to do it in a way that's safe. So what we did is we placed the camera in a way where it looks like the actors are in danger. But in fact, if you look at the behind the scenes, you'll see that we're shooting the paintball gun with the Sweeney hits in it from an angle that's pretty much impossible to hit the actor. And you can really see it in the shots that we did with Ben. So it's something important to keep in mind when you're doing practical effects and special effects is thinking about how you can place the camera in a way that makes the actor look like they're in danger when in fact they're not in danger at all. So for the bullet hit strike on Ben's shoulder, we used an air squib unit. An air squib unit is a um, pretty amazing product. It's really easy to use. Basically, it takes compressed air and then you fill a tube line with blood and there's a special little nozzle and actually a lot of people buy just the nozzles on their own. But the special little nozzle allows you to stick it underneath a shirt or a piece of wardrobe. And if you're using a light piece of wardrobe like a t-shirt, you can actually spray right through the t-shirt. But if you just wanna make sure that it gets uh, through the t-shirt or if you want a specific look, you can either distress the fabric or you can make a little bit of a hole uh, in the shirt, which is what we did for this shoot, um, to just make sure the blood squirts out the way you want it to. So the last gag we did was one of my personal favorites, and that was the car window getting shot. What we did for this is we filled a clear Sweeney capsule with glitter and Vaseline, and we coated it with Vaseline. Basically, when it impacts the window, the Vaseline makes a spread that makes the window look like it's gotten shot, and the glitter adds a sort of shrapnel effect. It sounds really silly, but it looks awesome, and you only have to fool the audience that much. So the biggest thing that we learned from making this scene, and something we've learned from Thane Morris, who owns Roger George, is the best filmmakers always make everything as safe as possible, but as convincing as possible. Film is basically a magic trick, and as long as you can trick the audience into thinking what they're seeing is real, then the scene is going to work. If you're interested in learning more about the products that we used in this video or other special effects products, you can visit us at rogergeorge.com. And we'd love to hear about what practical effects or special effects gags you're using. Um, so go ahead and leave those ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching.